Good morning, everyone. I'm Yi Yuan from Hiroshima University. I appreciated the opportunity to be with you today. I'm here to talk to you about our research named Outfront Image Generation with Conditional Generative Adversarial Networks. Our research focuses on an Outfront Generation method using machine learning. We use two CGAN to achieve this task. One named Typeface Network is used to change shape of an input font and another one named Ornament Network, which is used to add special effects to the font. Besides, in order to avoid disrupting of the shape of the font, we provide skeletons and edges of the character as auxiliary input into the typeface network. So let's talk about the art font. Art font is an artistic font that has an impressive and attractive shape with decoration. The most common technique of art font design is that designers manually design character by character. It can get very perfect art fonts. However, it's too complicated for non-experts and too time-consuming to design a small part of an art font. So we would like to propose a method using machine learning to generate art font images automatically. In our research, we use conditional generative adversarial network, also named CGAN, to achieve this task of art font generation. CGAN is a generation model that controls the generated image by specifying the label. If we input an image into the network, we can get a corresponding generated image. There are two networks trained with each other in CGAN. One named Generator, which can generate fake images similar to the real image. Another one named Discriminator, which can discriminate whether a given image is the real image or a fake image and corresponding to the input image. At the beginning, we only used a one second model named Pix to Pix to generate art fonts images. However, the generation of only one second is not satisfactory. The font will be broken and blurry, which affects the perception of the art font. So we divide this task into two seconds to improve generated image quality. We use the first CGAN named Typeface Network to change shape of an input font, and the second CGAN named Ornament Network to add effects to the font. Besides, because the shape of the font carries a specific meaning, we provide the skeletons and edges of the character as auxiliary input into the typeface network in order to avoid disrupting the shape of the font. About the generator, we use a network named UNET. The UNET consists of the encoder and the decoder networks with eight convolutional or deconvolutional layers each. Each layer in the encoder and the decoder networks is connected by the skip connection to preserve pixel level localization. We use a generator to transfer the input font to target font or art font. And the discriminator will discriminate the generated image from real image and whether corresponding to the origin image. About the discriminator, we use a technique named patch gun which has five convolutional layers. The patch gun will divide an image into multiple patches and discriminate whether each patch is true or false. The average of the discriminatory results of each patch is the final result. So about our implementation, we use TensorFlow 1.14.0 as development environment. 
The dataset consists of 400 sites of art fonts corresponding to the original font and the transferred font. The, the image size is 256 times by 256 and uh, they are made manually with Adobe Photoshop. The training optimizer is Adam. The time of epoch is 200. Best size is 1 and the learning rate is 0 0.002. The following are the evaluation of results. The first part is the evaluation of generation of proposal network. From the results, we can see that most of the generated images have good quality. The third column shows that the typeface network transferred a font successfully without disrupting the structure of the characters, except some intricate parts. And the fifth column shows that the ornament network successfully added the effect of the almost the same quality as the ground truth art font images. The second part is the comparative evaluation to show the advantage of using skeletons and edges as auxiliary input. We compared the generated images of typeface network and the regular CGN without skeletons and edges input. The generated phone image of CGN in the third column will appear to be broken and blurry. And the image generated by the proposed typeface network in the fourth column can better realize the font transfer without broken and blurry. And in the last part of evaluation, we compare the results generated by other two networks to show the advantage of proposed network. The pix-to-pix -pix model, which consists of only one CGN and the two CGNs without using skeletons and edges as auxiliary input. So the results show that the art font images generated by pix to pix may be mixed in close parts and the distortion of the font is large. The images generated by two seconds without pre-processing will have some collapse. And the generated image of proposed method effect effectively improves the font quality of the generated art font which keeps the grief of character. In other words, the proposed method can achieve better effect than other two networks. That brings me to the end of my presentation. I've talked about our proposed method using machine learning to generate art font images automatically. We use two networks to achieve this task. The typeface network to change shape of an input font, and the ornament network to add effects to the font. Most of the generated images have good quality. The results show that proposed model is capable of transforming character fonts and generating special effects, and the generation is better than regular CGN. That's all of my presentation. Thank you for listening.